Mark an inspirational story of Mark English From childhood we have heard stories of great men and women achieving great heights Few I will mention APJ Abdul Karam Tata Mangeshkar Kalpana Chawla etc We just see their shine and wonder how they did it We too see dreams of achieving great heights but some spend time watching while few spend time climbing the mountain Sometimes we fail and lose faith in ourselves. We say, I can't do it and give up. We give excuses for our failure and do not accept our fault. The point is, people stop believing in themselves because they face failures. They raise their hands high and say, I can't do it. But I ask, why can't you do it? The story you will be reading ahead will inspire you and change your lives. It will make you say, I can do it. Some sports are very adventurous like river rafting, trekking, mountaineering, etc. But mountaineering is one of the most difficult sport. Every mountaineer's dream is to climb Mount Everest one day. To reach the peak of the highest mountain of the world, very few people conquer this dauntless mountain. In 1924, mountaineers Sandy Irwin and George Mallory failed to reach the peak of Mount Everest and lost their lives. In 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Sherpa Tenzing Norgay of Nepal conquered Mount Everest. Again in 2006, 47 year old Mark English made his final push for the top from Camp 4, 450 meters from peak after 40 tough days of climbing in April May. Now you will say, yes, he climbed Mount Everest, a great achievement. But what's so in- inspirational in this? So let me ask you one question. Which body part would you trust on while climbing a mountain? The answer is our legs. The inspiration is that he didn't have his both legs. He was a double amputee. Amputee is a term used for people who had to cut his or her one leg or hand due to some reason. This process is called amputation. He was a disabled person. He raised each to peak on his artificial legs. But why he had to cut off his legs? The year was 1982. Mark English and Phil Dool were trapped in an ice cave for 14 days on Mount Cook, New Zealand's highest peak. They were rescued after 14 days. They both suffered frostbite and injury to body tissues, nose, fingers, or toes due to exposure to extreme cold. They both lost their both legs, but the frostbite chose the wrong person because Mark English was not one of them. who spent their lives crying for being disabled he gathered courage and conquered mount everest when he reached he was on top of the world he gave a great message to the world to others with disabilities that their ambitions should never be limited he was the first double amputee to conquer everest but mr english didn't stop at this since 2006 he had taken challenging roles from legless sky guide to research scientist after earning a degree in human biochemistry He also won a silver medal in cycling at Sydney Paralympics in 2000. Paralympics is also an Olympics but only for disabled people. What a man! He faced his greatest loss by losing his legs and now holds the greatest achievements. Frostbite could only take away his legs but not his willpower and determination. We people have a whole body give up and he being disabled didn't give up. English also kept a website diary of climb. In that he said that Everest expedition was an effort to raise money for a Cambodian center that provides rehabilitation for landmine amputees, polio victims and other disabled people. How thoughtful of him. What a dauntless mind. How great will be his willpower that not even the mountain frostbite, disability, harsh weather conditions could stop him. We need to learn from him that if you have faith in yourself, will power and strong determination, nothing in the world can stop you. If he did it, why can't you? You can do it too. Ask yourself the question. I will be back soon with more interesting videos. By Rishikesh Ramesh Mane.